All right. I've got seven DVDs here in seven individual boxes, packages. Before we open those, uh, let's cover other stuff. Uh, let's see. I've got um decided to splurge on the Tenchi Muyo um, OST. Ten sorry, not Tenchi Muyo. Tenchi in Tokyo specifically. A new No Need Tenchi. I think is kind of a very <clears throat> very English translation of the Japanese name for Tenchi in Tokyo, which I think was called Sh Shin Tenchi Muyo, which was without Tenchi Muyo, I guess. <clears throat> but, you know, uh, the main thing I was looking for was actually a track from this first one, uh, which is track number seven here, uh, a Yugi's theme. I've mentioned before that I really like the... Um, Dylan of this series, and that theme in particular, um, you know, I wasn't able to find all of it on YouTube, and, you know, there we go. Now, now I have it, and I got some other songs from there that I like. Uh, it's also worth interesting that, uh, you know, it came in a package from a Robert's Anime Corner Store, which is actually has some kind of neat artwork on it, so I thought I'd at least save those. The box also had this on it, which... When I first saw this, I'm like, uh, did, uh, did somebody accidentally deliver their Wendy's to my address? But that's not the Wendy's logo. That's actually Robert's Anime Store. Kind of cool. Um, also, um, I decided to get a new Opie mouse pad. Um, I went with Tifa because there was just not a lot of options on Amazon. And the one that I was using over here had been leaking forever and just was not really great. So I've, I've got, I ordered two, but <clears throat> the other one didn't arrive, which is kind of why I ordered two, because I wanted one to arrive really quickly and be a kind of cheaper one. This Tifa one is cheaper, and it feels, feels very similar to the one it's replacing, which means it's uh, maybe fine. Um, the other one is cost a little bit more, but um, I don't know. The, the options were kind of slim picking all around. So, it's just sort of like, eh. None of the characters jumped out at me, so I went with Tifa. Tifa's... If, if you're going with something with boobs, Tifa's seems like a good um, first choice. Uh, we got the Blu-ray version of Lady Does Butler. I do believe the hentai yeah, kitty media you know, kind of thing there. The, today's all crazy with bunches of different stuff. Yeah, depending on timing, there was also a um, limited run game. Oh yeah, Shantai. Uh, Packaging does not want to let this contents go. Ugh. That's... I'm just trying to be careful with those, um... <clears throat> um, receipts. Because they tend to... Okay, so what I'm gonna try and do, because I'm a fucking idiot, I'm gonna try and cut through four of these at the same time, just to start them. How did that work? I don't know. But now we get to open these all up, add them to the piles, sometimes upside down. And now we go through these. Beginning with a Galaxy Angel X. Which I commented, I think, on the last Galaxy Angel Blu-ray release that I thought maybe everything had been released. And, you know, obviously the fact that this is here is an indicator. Nope, I can't remember shit. But, you know. Stuff. This might finish up all the Galaxy Angel stuff, though. Looking on the back, I can't see a damn thing. That's an uh, A. Audio. Should have the dub. 
Galaxy Angels reporting for duty. Uh, I don't remember this character at all other than they weren't there at the beginning. What's going on with it? Why can't I remember this stuff? Hector's Songs Connection. Complete series. I'll be honest, you know, this doesn't look bad, it just doesn't look... Oh wow, there was a sexy face underneath the sticker. Assuming you like your albinos, and I know you don't usually think of those characters as the albinos, but... Uh, maybe not, it really depends, I'm trying to decide the color of the eyes. Because, um, oh, unexpected. Who released this? Animation. The Vocaloid voice actors collaboration. Uh, hmm. I don't know. What was I thinking? Oh yeah. So, you know, albino people are lacking in pigmentation, which generally means, you know, pale skin. Um, I think it's usually pale skin. Maybe it doesn't have to be because I don't think melanin is the same as pigmentation, but usually the hair is completely white and the eyes are pink or red, depending on how you want to um, describe them, I think. And you kind of notice that there's characters that seem to be kind of leaning along that weigh a whole lot. These people who voice Vocaloids or what the what in the world does this have to do with Vocaloids? Is it like the voice actors for the Vocaloids and it's a collaboration it says this says brand new transfer student. Does this mean that there's singing involved that it involves the Vocaloids? Special 7. Oh look, we might have another face partially obscured by a sticker. Well, it was really just the top of his head, but it makes him look less like a robot and more like a person standing to the side. What in the world even is all this stuff this week? It's, it's not like bad. It, this one, I can't tell what to think about it. This one, uh, I guess I've got a slight vibe because, you know, we've got like a really wide variety of characters there, but they do seem to fit this theme of maybe slightly noir-ish. Although this is obviously the anime version of noir, because you have to have a small lolly character somewhere in there or something. I was trying to remember, what was that one I watched the other time that had, like, Detective work with a magic touch. Yeah, so I guess I'm thinking of the right one. Uh, that other one that I mentioned with the fairies and the little fighter elf girl and it mostly working out well. Disc one, disc two. Caution. I don't know. Next we've got Naruto starting to see release on Blu-ray. Which, you know, is mostly fine. I think the main advantage is that eventually we'll get some of the Naruto content that really needs to be released on Blu-ray, DVD, Region A. Yeah, this one was A and B. That was That's worth noting. Stop. Try putting it on or something. Well, you know, this this is Naruto. It 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 is what it is. Well, authors attempt to kind of explore a couple of different series, but not really starting new worlds. And in his defense, it's probably because once you get a foothold, it's kind of hard to get multiple footholds per se. Let's 
see some sexy shoe. Ninja sandal, I guess. I'm just wondering why he's not wearing Crocs. Um, Grand Belm, maybe? The two prin princeps? I mean, it's kind of interesting how there's a lot of these that I just can't really tell what they're even supposed to be. This one's at least kind of giving a more, I don't know, magical girl vibe, maybe. Hmm. Don't know what to make of it, but I do see it's Japanese with English subtitles only. Region A. This is Sentai, yeah. Mecca? I mean, right now I'm only processing just this blurb of shapes and colors, but Mecca, maybe? Mecca? Magical girl? I don't know. And then uh, here's an interesting one. If y'all aren't familiar with the uh, Jubei chan, then, well, this one can't be opened because that's some really fucking tenacious plastic. So, the scissors coming back out. But, um, Jubei Chan as a series is interesting. The first one is. You pretty much watch the first one because it's a fun comedy. And you watch Jubei Chan too because it's kind of a pretty neat action y um, thing. Uh, it's probably worthwhile to watch the first season some to get the general idea and something I don't remember the first one coming out on blu-ray though I see an A there this should have an English dub so so I can't uh, so yeah English audio which means English dub 13 episodes yeah cuz it's kind of interesting cuz um you know the, the entire setup has both this interesting action-y sort of aspect and this interesting comedy sort of aspect. And the first season series, whatever, is definitely a little more leaning on the comedy side, like I said. And this one, it plays the action part. And I... I enjoyed it. What was the ending? What was that? I don't know. But anyways, here's this week's Bizarre anime DVD collection update. So I guess I don't really have much to report here. Um, I didn't watch any anime this past week again. Um, you know, it kind of comes down to the exhaustion in the evening, stuff coming up, you know, whatever ends up happening. You know, there's plenty of time spent kind of zombing and napping and plenty of time where it's like I'm still trying to figure out problems in my VR chat world and I am making progress there but I don't know if it's stuff that can be reported very accurately here because sometimes you know like I don't know how many weeks I had gone without even testing it in VR chat just to see okay now of all the stuff I've worked on what is actually working like it should but I created this list of stuff and then kind of had to figure out how to solve a handful of different problems such as the fog wasn't being foggy the audio wasn't switching between inside and outside mode uh, certain items were falling through the floor when they weren't before I'm not sure when I changed them things like that and <sighs> yeah, it's just solving problems as I go, and a lot of things are working better and better and better, and I'm getting closer and closer to my vision, but again, not there. I think I have the goal of probably getting the world uploaded maybe this month, so that next month I can at least begin with a winter wonderland version of it for lack of better words but then again with all the ho little holiday stuff I want to throw in there 
And the, some of the reason I want to explore that stuff is simply because once I figure out what all I'm putting in the world, then I can probably also find out if there's additional other little things I'm going to put in there. Things to think about and figure out. But, um... Yeah. Uh, what else is there worth mentioning? So, hopefully tonight I will be playing Phasmophobia with, uh my Tuesday streaming group, I guess, which is my brother and some of his uh, peer group. They're part of my peer group too, but, you know, they originate from stuff my brother has done as opposed to um, people I've introduced into our group from online or something like that. And there's another possibility that my... So there's the one brother that I might be playing with tonight, hopefully, and then there's um, two other brothers who are actually planning on playing it and then that, that's kind of nice. So if you haven't played Phasmophobia, and I don't remember if I've talked about it, um, it's a neat game. Uh, some of what's nice about it is it's an outwardly cooperative game, and at the same time, it's got a lot of mechanisms to learn, but it doesn't reveal its inner workings to you just because you understand what they are. In other words, you can... I think a really good example is you can see a ghost throwing items and you're like, uh, oh, well, the personality of a poltergeist is that it really likes to throw items, so this could be a poltergeist, but it may also be an oni showing off its strength and being kind of angry that you're um, in the room or something like that. So... You know, there's all these little things where the way some ghosts seem to have different personalities, some seem to be more shy than other versions of the same ghost type, and others seem to be more active or aggressive. And so because of all this stuff, you kind of go into a mission, even though you only have, like, a pattering of maps. Yeah, is that the right word? I mean, no, but is it the word that gives the impression of what I'm hoping? You know, because it could be like eight maps, maybe at most. And I'm having trouble counting. It's a general impression where it seems like, you know, you'll be doing maps that you are aware of and have already done before. Yeah, and, you know, you're trying to figure out what you're dealing with. Your um, your goal is to make money, but there isn't anything that says that you have to make money, that you can't just say, uh, yeah, we're going to just lose more money if we keep doing this. And you only lose money if you die, really. Because you don't actually lose money so much as, first of all, you're not going to gain as much money, but also you'll have to repurchase equipment, probably, I think. It's... I'm trying to think if some people said on same some game modes if you do certain things that maybe you get some items back or game difficulties and I don't know I haven't tried but the point is you know there's a lot of this cooperative stuff there's things that kind of keep you engaged even if you already know what you're doing um, and the cash rewards isn't so high such that you kind of feel like oh I gotta get that cash reward rush I got it's surprisingly mediocre which basically means that the game does a good self a, a good um a good uh thing of kind of self-limiting so that you don't really lose that high from doing it you can kind of go in there just to kind of enjoy yourself i guess usually and it's good for that And it comes with its bugs. I mean, I'm thinking mostly on the VR side, but there's other been other bugs fixed. Like, the ghosts are supposed to always cool down the room that they're in, but people in my peer group thought that gins don't cool down rooms because they encountered a gin once, but none of the rooms were being cooled. But it looks like that was actually a bug where sometimes the ghost just doesn't properly cool rooms like it should be. It's just kind of goes to show you why stuff like this isn't easy to make. And I kind of understand it because, um, you know, it's made in Unity. 
and a lot of stuff I'm learning about my world building are definitely reminiscent of the same stuff that they're dealing with for some of the stuff there. It's not all the same stuff, but you know, it's little things like, oh, well, here's how pathing works. Or at least the pathing that the game gives you. It's pretty cool. They don't cut corners. So, yeah. Huh. Sorry, excuse me. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, I guess I'm just thinking about stuff and humming on camera, which doesn't mean much. But yeah, when it comes to watching stuff, um, it's been mostly YouTube videos, I think. Mostly because I can do it in, like, little bursts. It's uh, easier to pause. And I haven't been sure what anime I've been wanting to definitely watch and put on. I've had stuff I'm curious about, but distracted. Anyways, that stuff. Um, so uh, at the time I'm recording this, uh, DVD that might arrive later today hasn't arrived yet. That one will probably be opened a little bit early because it contains one piece. And my Friday friend, of course, likes to watch that, and that means that we'll probably get to watch that. But we'll have to get to there for me to watch that for me to decide on whatever we're going to do. So, be hopeful. And there's things here where I'm like, oh, yeah, this reminds me of that one anime with the detective and the elf girl and the fairies. So I might give it a shot just because of that. I don't know. We'll find out. Y'all, have a nice week.